Walk on, everybody. So, welcome to my cheap art supply challenge. Here, the most expensive thing is the paper. I think it's good to invest in some good paper or everything will fall apart. Here's a Sharpie. It's a $1. And then I have some 12 color, color pencils, also for a dollar. And some crappy watercolor. I'd be damned if I went to the school, school, store to buy some more $3 watercolor that I'll probably never ever use again. I think it was less than $3. But yeah, so I just used some old one I used for college, high school, and yeah. All right, and I'm using a number, not a number two. Yeah, actually it is. A number two pencil to draw a sketch. And the person that I am drawing is Rihanna. You know, rude boy. Come on, rude boy. All that good stuff, you know? Um, personally, as an artist, uh, I don't really like Rihanna because well I do I like her songs but she's not really a, a writer she's more of what I call an industry puppet because people write music for her but I think she is very beautiful and I think she is a very good model not role model but like a model model like she has a nice look and all that and yeah but let me tell y'all honestly this is not really a challenge for me because I use art cheap art supplies before I was able to buy good art supplies. So everything that I'm using, I have used before. This is not my first time. So this is more of like a tutorial on how to use cheap ass art supplies. Okay, no filters today. So <laughs> for the watercolor, you got to understand with this cheap $2 watercolor, you can't put too many layers at once and you can't expect it to be as rich as more expensive watercolor it's going to be pathetic and you just got to deal with it and be happy with it you know what i'm saying so i start off with a very faint layer just as like you know some highlights and i'm gonna go over later with the color pencils and it looked okay you know i mean i didn't get really dark but that's what you have the rest of the stuff for and the good thing about this cheap watercolor is even though you can't really layer it it leaves texture on the paper so the pencil the color the cheap color pencils pick up very well on top of the watercolor so that's a good thing so yeah and um, yeah I didn't really mix much in this I kind of use the true colors because I'm not trying to sit here and mix some cheap watercolor together now you can do that I mean for those who can only afford this kind of watercolor do do you but now you see I'm using the color pencil and it looks good on top of the watercolor and that's when I started to get the colors in and if you want to know what picture I'm using I might just just look it up just look up Rihanna and you'll see you can have a comparison I don't want to put it on the screen as much because then it makes it take longer to render plus it probably distracts you guys and I don't know if y'all even really care because nobody's ever said anything about it so I'm not gonna do it anymore <laughs> unless I feel the need to but anyway um, yeah, I'm switching between the color pencils. You see, I have like, oh, yeah, and then I'm using the uh, Sharpie for the darker spots. And then when I added the Sharpie, everything just came together. And I'm kind of, kind of using the style that I usually, usual, you, uh, usually use in most of my um, watercolorish type drawings, except for I'm using cheaper supplies because everything costs about, I don't know some dollars that's how much but yeah the only the most expensive part is that notepad which costs about five to six dollars and it comes with 30 sheets and this is a half of a sheet so if you do the math which I'm not about to sit here and do you'll realize that this is still technically cheap and you don't want to use crappy computer paper if you're going to use watercolor because then what's the point of doing cheap art there's no point of you doing art at all unless you're practicing so invest in some good paper so you can have at least a decent looking piece of paper I mean if you have a good looking piece of paper you can fool somebody into thinking that you spent some money on these art supplies when really it only cost you some pennies the pennies you find on your couch that's how much it really costs that's what you do trick people they won't know who would know most artists know but nobody else would know not even some of us artists would know <laughs> anyway I really like how this turned out like I said this is not really a challenge for me this is just an inspiration for you, anybody who's watching who only can afford cheap art supplies, is to do art anyway. You 
because nobody's gonna know and it'll still look good as long as you got the skills to back it up all right guys peace hope you enjoyed the video like subscribe if you're new see you next time bye